What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1. This currently works on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4G, iPod Touch 3G, and iPad 1. Unfortunately, this does not work on the iPhone 4S or the iPad 2, although the iPhone dev team is working on a version that is exactly like this that will be released sometime soon around New Year's that will work for the iPhone 4S or iPad 2 but as of right now this works only on older devices I'm gonna be doing this on my iPod Touch 4G as you can see right here um, and yeah it is it is untethered which means you do not need to hook up your device to the computer every time you turn it off um, rather once it's jailbroken you'll be done you never need to worry about turning off your device um, and as I said it only works on lower devices or older devices. Um, now before I begin, if you are on a lower firmware, you're going to want to sync to iTunes and back up all your information and then you're going to want to update to 5.0.1 because you do not want to lose all the data that you have on your device. Um, make sure you save that data. Also, if you have jailbreak data, like if you are currently jailbroken and you do have jailbreak apps, you're going to have to give that up because you're going to want to restore to 5.0.1. Um, and that's not a big deal if you lose all your jailbreak data because again you can just re-download it once you jailbreak and you are going to want to lose that because it is going to take up space on your jailbreak um, when you re-jailbreak it untethered. Um, now again another note on jailbreaking if you are currently tethered on 5.01 on a jailbreak if you want to make it untethered all you have to do is run this jailbreak that I'm about to show you over that jailbreak it'll work you're not going to lose any data that way and it will simply make it untethered um, which is a good deal and it works very well um, so now that I got all of that information out of the way that you guys should know um, oh before I begin again one last thing um, I'm not responsible for any damage you do to your device it shouldn't do any damage you should be fine but I'm not liable if you do do damage it works perfectly fine I've done it multiple times and I'll show you how it works right now so as I said after I got all that information out of the way basically what you need to do to jailbreak your device is hook it up to your computer as you can see my iPod is currently hooked up to the computer and you're gonna want to download Red Snow which I currently have downloaded on my Mac right there there is a Mac version and a Windows version which I will have both both of those in the description for you to download and once you download those you're basically gonna open up um, you're gonna open up red snow sorry I've got to minimize a window here you're gonna open up red snow as you can see there's the folder for red snow for me so I double click it and then up comes a window I'm gonna open up red snow here um, and then it is actually open so once you have your device hooked up and you open up red snow you're simply gonna click jailbreak it's going to list a bunch of text. Basically, it's going to tell you that you have to make sure your device is turned off and plugged into your computer. So make sure that you turn it off. As you can see, I'm turning it off here. So you slide to, un to turn it off. It's going to turn it off eventually. Mine might take a little while because I haven't turned it off in a while. Uh, come on now. Blah, blah, blah. Yours shouldn't take this long to turn off. I don't know why mine is. But basically, while that's turning off, I'm going to let you know what the next step is. Once you click Next right there, as you can see, once you click Next, it's going to make you put your device in DFU mode. And as you can see, my device just turned off. So once you click Next, make sure you're holding your device. And it's going to ask you to hold the Power button and the Home button. So click Next. You're going to hold the Power button. Then you are also going to hold the Home button. As you can see, I am right now. And then you are going to release the power button, but keep holding the home button for 14 seconds. And as you can see, it's counting down on the screen while I'm holding the home button. And there, as you can see, it starts to work its its thing. It starts to do its thing. And you just keep holding the home button. It says uploading first stage, up, uploading second stage, waiting for reboot. And now you should see this on the screen nothing is happening on the iPod yet but you will see a scroll bar on your Windows or Mac screen just let that do its thing keep holding the home button just in case that will make it work and eventually that will be done um, you can release the home button now and we'll give you a bunch of options basically what you want to select is install Cydia and you can enable the battery percentage but I usually don't so I'm going to uncheck that um, so I'm just going to click install Cydia, click next, and then it's going to say waiting for reboot, uploading RAM disk, and you will finally see on your device um, downloading jailbreak data. That is, that is correct. Don't worry. Don't freak out if you see that. That's what you want to be on your device. 
um, and that is that means the jailbreak is working. This code is not somebody hacking into your device. It is just simply the jailbreak doing its thing. It is working on your device. So don't freak out again. That's what's supposed to happen. And while this text is scrolling, the screen will actually say done. That is normal too, so don't worry if your screen says done and your iPod or iPhone or iPad is still working. So just let it do its thing. It'll work. Um, and I will come back actually when the text is done scrolling. Okay, so once the text is done scrolling, you will see this. It's a little pineapple with feet running. It'll say moving applications and blah, blah, blah. That is what's supposed to happen. Don't worry, that's correct. Again, don't freak out. And you just let it do its thing and wait until the iPod reboots after this. So I'll be back when this is done. Okay, guys, so as you can see, my iPod is rebooting here. And I will let you know when it's completely booted up. Okay, so it is completely booted up, and we should have Cydia here to the right, and there you go. As you can see, there's Cydia. Simply tap to open it up, and you will ask you who you are. I usually click developer, and you are jailbroken. Just click done, and it'll start loading, and you're jailbroken. So as you can see, guys, that's how you jailbreak all the older devices. Again, this does not work on the iPhone 4S or iPad 2 just yet, but I will have guides up when it does work with those, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those um, videos when I upload them. And... Also, be sure to rate thumbs up, favorite the video if it helped you out down there in the description, and leave your comments. And for more tech updates, be sure to follow me on Twitter, visit my website, um, like my Facebook fan page, follow me on Google+, and visit my other YouTube channel down there in the description. Greatly appreciate all of that, and thanks guys, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.